today is that we're more connected than ever, aren't we? I mean, how many of you have checked your phone just since I started talking? We're more connected than ever, texting, instant messaging, Facebooking, tweeting. I never thought I'd ever say that. <laughs> but yet, we're actually less connected to people than ever. Yet another reason why we should be using the phone. Don't call with what I call the probation officer call. I'm calling to just check in with you to see how it's going. And they're going to say, what? I picked up the phone for this? We got to make sure that every time you call, they say that, what's your name? Blanche. Every time Blanche calls, she's always got some good ideas for me. You should only be talking about 20% of the time. I was talking to a sales rep not too long ago, and he said, are you kidding me? How could I give a presentation only talking 20% of the time? I said, you know, you're right. I listened to some of your calls. Make it 10. <laughs> but if, if you're doing all the talking, what we're doing is we're giving them information potentially that they could object to. But if they're doing the talking, what are they giving us now? information that we may be able to take and find something in there that will help us even put together a better recommendation when it comes to that point of the call. We want to focus on what can we say that's going to be of value and going to be of interest every time we talk to our prospects and our clients so that they view you as the expert in your industry and somebody who has something of interest and of value as opposed to just the salesperson. Count of three, I want you all to look over here, smile and wave and make some noise. One, two, three. Awesome. But when you go and look at that tomorrow, who's the first person you're going to look at? You're going to go find yourself. Why? Because you pretty much care about you. We all do. We care about ourselves. Now when you call up a prospect, do they care about you? Oh, that's a shock to some people. But no, they care about who? Themselves. All right, so let's see, you're making a phone call, you care about yourself, they care about themselves. What's gotta give in order for you to be successful? You have got to take off your group photo mentality hat and put theirs on and focus on what might they be interested in. It's gotta be all about them. Comes up. Now granted, I wasn't gonna start out the call with, hi Mike, our subject here with Business by Phone. I understand you like to hang out with high school girls. <laughs> Probably not appropriate. <laughs> but later on in the call, it came up that he wasn't able to meet on that Friday because he was going to a tournament. And I said, well, what kind of tournament? Volleyball? He said, well, yeah, how'd you know? And I said, well, I'm kind of a stalker. <laughs> I said, no, no, I I practice what I preach. I did some research on it. We spent about the next five minutes talking about what? His passion, right? Do people buy from companies? People buy from people, that's right. Cold calling doesn't work. I'll agree with the cold part. Cold calling should never be done. Here's how I define a cold call. Calling somebody you don't know who doesn't know you and somebody that you don't know anything about calling them to try to pitch them on your services. Almost always, that's going to create resistance. Most people would not want to talk to somebody that they perceive to be a salesperson. It's just a numbers game. You ever heard that before in sales training? Sales just a numbers game. Make so many calls, you can get so many yeses. For every no you get, you're that much closer to a yes. Anybody heard that before? What a crock that is. Calling is a quality game. If I take a two-headed coin and I flip it a hundred times, am I any closer to a tail on the hundred first flip? No, because I'm not doing the right thing to get the result that I'm looking for. Failure is not making the call. <laughs> you didn't have a referral or information before you called them, and if you call them and you didn't have it afterward, you didn't lose anything, right? Absolutely. Plus, you had the opportunity to make the contact. Anybody here go to a movie? or watch a pay-per-view in the last week? Anybody at all? 
Did you elbow the person next to you and point at the screen and say, can you believe it? They're working from a script. <laughs> now, we don't want to sound like the cheesy telemarketer. But don't actors work from scripts? Yeah. So you see, when you react negatively to the word script, what you're really reacting negatively to is the delivery of the script. Kids like to be read to, adults don't. I'm going to end the same way I started. I guarantee that if you will just do the stuff you wrote down, the stuff you wrote down, you will find more buyers, get more listings, get more loans, make more sales, get more commissions, and do it without rejection or spending money. Does that sound good? You gotta do one thing though, you gotta go out there and take some action. So go out there and do it. Thanks everybody.